What's poppin' YouTube? This your boy Ink in the Brain. We back at like a bad habit. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. Alright, so I have to touch on this story, man. As, as y'all know, if you've been on the interwebs lately, you've seen that there's a black chick in Houston that got hit in the head with a brick, right? Had her whole head lumped up. She in the hospital. She's mad because there's a lot of black men that was standing around watching her get smacked in the face with a brick. You feel me? Now, there's more to this story. Uh, it goes deeper than that, all right? Uh, number one, she's Somalian. She's, so she's involved in an uh, African community in her area. The men that were around her are in the same community, right? But nonetheless, I get that their color is black, but this, these aren't uh, what they call FBA, Foundationally Black Americans, right? But that's neither here nor there, really. I want to touch on a few things on this story. Now, this might be a long video, y'all, so uh, if you like the video, just make sure you hit the like button because I'm going to talk some real, some real stuff on here. As you know, I've done time in the prison system, all right? And I hear a lot of, a lot of chicks on the online, a lot of black women online to be, to be exact, always want to talk about how black men don't provide, they don't protect, and blah, 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 blah right? <laughs> I've met plenty of people down. I, one, one guy, I don't know if I told this story before, but I met one brother when I was down, right? He had a platonic uh, friend who was a girl. She met a guy. They went to go kick it. They did some Xanax. Basically, long story short, she wakes up. She doesn't remember what happened, but she had sex with the guy. She regretted it, told one of her uh, guy friends about it, the, the, the man I'm referring to. He basically goes get a gun, goes to the guy's residence, and shoots him. The guy survives. He got hit with aggravated assault, and he got like eight years, right? That's just one example. But there's plenty of guys that are locked up in the penitentiary behind defending uh, a, a woman. It happens all the time. Shit, more times than not, beef is either behind a woman or money. More times than not. So all these old men, they don't protect, and all this bullshit. All right, uh, another thing, right? Now, if you go on this lady's TikTok page, she's spewing all this feminist stuff about how, you know, all oh, men, uh, men are providers, men are protectors, women are the real providers. Come to find out, you know, she's a member of the LGBTQ community, so she has a girlfriend, or she's a, she's a lesbian, reportedly by herself, by her own words, right? So, not only does she not like men, and don't respect men, but she, she doesn't even want to be romantically involved by men. But when she jumps out of pocket with the man, right, and gets smacked in the face with a brick, now she's blaming men that didn't come to her fence. Does, does, does this make sense, y'all? Y'all let me know in the comments if that makes sense or not, right? Because I do agree that men do have a certain responsibility as a man at all times, regardless of... I guess you could say it regardless of somebody else's actions, uh, you know, but there's there's a certain level to that, all right? What I mean by that is to qualify for protection as a woman, you have to behave as a woman, right? Like, nobody, like, okay, for example, back in, like, the 1970s or whatever, like, before the feminist bullshit happened, right? I'm pretty sure you have rude and unruly women, but I'm, I'm, I'm very sure that they're the minute uh, amount of women out there. Why? Well, because women actually respected men back there. They were dependent on men back then. Uh, they value a relationship with their husband, you know, so they're not going to just mouth off with a man in public. You know what I mean? Just that, that's not how they act, act, acted back then. But nowadays with this new feminism wave and, oh, I don't need a man. Uh, if a man isn't making over $100,000 a year, he's worthless. It's like, okay. Women, if you if, if I have any women watching this video, if you have that mentality, you only look at a, 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 a man as a as a pocketbook and that's it. Well, go ahead and marry your job, marry your degree. If you get it, if you you know, salute. If you get a job that's paying you hundred grand a year, salute. But marry, marry that motherfucker, marry your employer. Then. But when time when you <laughs> you gonna find out the hard way that a man is a lot more than what what he brings financially. I'm just saying though. Now, let me touch on this. She said that uh, she was all mad because 
Well, basically, she said that uh, she got hit in the face with a brick because she rejected a man, right? Man asked for her phone number, and she said no. And he said, okay, well, well pick up the brick and smack her in the face with a brick. Now, fellas, use your common sense, all right? If you're not a game goofy, you know that's not how it happened. I've been rejected thousands of times. You've been rejected thousands of times. If you've been out here, you know what I mean? Like, like, like you know how we rock. We out approaching women in the, in the uh, not in the gym, but, you know, in the club, grocery store, walking in the mall, groceries, uh, gas stations, right, banks. I'm a cold approach women on all these occasions, and I've been rejected on all these occasions. Not one time did I ever think of even smacking a woman or, 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 or <laughs> you know what I mean? Chances are, and this is what the men are in her community are saying, that she's unruly, she started it, she was mouthing off that dude, called him all kind of names, you know what I mean, just being disrespectful, and do hit her in the face with a brick, right? Because let's be honest, a woman rejecting you, if you hit her face in the, in the face with a brick, bro, you're goofy, you deserve to go to prison, like you're straight goofy for that. Like there's no excuse to do that. Under any circumstances, should you even, you shouldn't even cuss a, a, a chick out if she rejects you. If she's polite, if you say, hey, hey so you know, what's your name? Oh, okay, man, you know, you're looking real nice tonight, man. Uh, I would love to, uh, you know, get to know you, maybe take you out, you know what I mean? And if, if you act right, maybe we can, we can pursue something further, right? Oh, you know, that's so sweet, sweetheart, but, but, but no thank you. I just, you know, I have a boyfriend or I'm not, you know, I'm not really dating right now, but I appreciate the, uh, the compliment. <clears throat> what dude is going to smack her in the face with a brick behind that? N none. No, no, he might get mad, like, he'd say, oh, well, you were fat anyway, or whatever the case is, and that's goofy shit, fellas. Don't do that shit. If you approach a chick, you try to get something out of her. If she curves you, don't, don't, don't do no stupid shit like that. All right, so oh, you ugly anyway, or smack in the face with a brick, that's goofy. But women, you know, and a lot of times, black women, they don't really reject you in the nicest way. Uh, I've been there to where... I'll talk to a woman trying to get her attention, right? And she just keeps on walking, looks at me, just keeps on walking, doesn't even acknowledge me. I'm just like, damn, for real, you can't even say no thank you or, or hey, I'm busy. Like, stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? It, it could, but you know, I'm not, I'm a player, man, you feel me? So I'm not really tripping off a chick rejecting me. The rejection don't come, everybody gets rejected. I already know it's just part of the game. So that part of her story, I'm not believing that one bit. Uh, she also has videos on her TikTok running around slapping white people. Now, apparently, when I looked into it, those are skits. But still, this is the image that you're that you're putting on social media for the average person to see of you, right? So, what I'm saying to y'all fellas is this: Should us as men protect women? The easy, the uh, the comment, you know, the easy answer is yes. But like I said. It comes with a caveat. In my opinion, the woman that deserves protection, at least in my life, I speak to myself, and I'm sure some of y'all would feel the same. Uh, you know, my mom, uh, my female cousins, uh, you know, even my nephew, or my niece if I have one, uh, my grandmother's rest in peace if they were still here, my aunties, absolutely. Any any woman in my family, and my co circle, absolutely. I'll, I'll jump for them. I'll, I'll put my life on the line and my freedom on the line. To, to defend them all, off top, all day. But, but, let's just say my cousin, for example, right? My cousin, she's 24 right now, I think, 25. If she was, if she is a, a loud mouth, and she's not like this, she's not like this, but she was a loud mouth and didn't respect men and, you know, uh, 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 call them out of their names and, you know, or she's one of these women online calling black men bullet bags and nakers and all this shit, right? <laughs> and she's reckless with her mouth in public and a man punches her in the mouth. Hey, cousin, I'm sorry, you got to eat that, baby. You got to eat that, baby, girl. If that's what happened, you got to eat that. You feel me? You, you deserve what came to you. Can't, you, can't, you can't just... You don't get absolved from accountability just because you have a vagina. That's, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. Now see, now I ain't gonna lie, I, I will catch the fade with, 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 I'll catch a back fade. I ain't gonna lie, I'll catch a back fade. 
But I'm gonna pull it to the side and tell her, like, cousin, the only reason I took that back thing for you is because you my you my cousin and I I'll, 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 I'll ride for you. You know what I'm saying? But you was out of pocket. You need to stop talking to men like that. It, it, because next time it it, it could be, cost your life. You feel me? But so yeah, I'll protect I'll protect my family, my girlfriend, my wife. You, you know what I'm saying? If if I ever have a wife, I'll, I'll talk. But a stranger, especially an unruly stranger with the mouth that this lady had, also who doesn't even respect men or like men, and doesn't and say that we're not protectors yet cries that they didn't protect her. That's delusional. That's dumb, lady. That's stupid. You can be an LGBTQ member in peace, but you don't have to put men down and say how we're not protected because that's not that's not the truth. Men pull up on men. Have you ever heard of? Oh, I'm gonna call my brothers. Oh, okay, you talking. Okay, wait a second. Let me call. You never heard of it? Come on. Just recently, there was a brother named Tra Travis Rudolph that was an NFL star, a wide receiver on the Minnesota Vikings. He was dealing with his girl. They got into an argument. Just Google it. Got into an argument. She, okay, I'm going to call my brothers. Brothers pull up to his house. Travis get the AR-15. Now, that, before that happened, it was outside. Travis pulled up like, what's up? Before he could even say, what's up, he gets stuck. You know what I'm saying? A scuffle happens. Him and his brother out there. Long story short, he grabbed the strap. And start flocking at the car, lift the car up like 39 times. One person got killed. I think another person got hit in the leg. And then Travis had to go sit down in the county jail for a year with no no bond. Now he ended up beating the case because he went to trial. But let's think about the, the the cost of what it took to defend not just his life. Shoot, not even defending his girl's life, just defending his life. He had to get a lawyer, which cost several thousands of dollars. I'm, I'm sure he probably at least paid 20, 30 grand for his lawyer. The opportunity cost, he lost his NFL career because he had to sit in jail. And the time, you're doing a whole year in jail, sitting in the county, eating dog crap food, no, uh, you know what I mean, no TV, you're bored as hell, you, and, and you're there stressing over your life. He was facing life for that. All because of this lady calling his brother one protection. Oh, but black men don't black men don't provide and protect. <laughs> Come on, man. This shit happens, this shit happens all the time. So, uh, another part I want to touch on, fellas. Uh, a lot of you inexperienced guys are gonna be more apt to jump in and defend women because you still have this woman and sugar and spice and everything and everything nice mentality, right? And it's going to end up hurting you in the long run. What I mean by that is you need to understand that women choose who they deal with. All right? Women pick the men that they deal with. So if you see a woman in the gas station, like, I, I man, just Google, man, just Google men, uh, men gets killed intervening domestic dispute. And you'll find a whole slew of articles about it. But this one that I'm thinking about, I want to say it was in Detroit. Uh... In a gas station or something like that. Uh, dude pulls up. He sees the uh, man arguing with the girl, right? He decides to intervene. Hey, brother, stop talking to her like that. Whoopty, whoopty, whoop. Long story short, dude pulls out a gun and shoots him. Kills him. The woman and him jump in the car and leave the scene. She jumps in the car with the guy who was just, uh, uh, you know, Having an argument with her, so he might even slapped her. I can't remember exactly the story, but that was clearly having a dispute. He intervenes, gets killed. The lady jumps back in the car with the guy, speeds off. Now, I, I think they ended up catching the guy, and he got to do some time. But what? that's not your business, bro. I understand uh, you have this ingrained, you know what I mean, uh, uh, sip chip <laughs> in your head, right? That says, oh, woman in distress, damn in distress, let me save her. And you put your cap on your saver. Bro, this is not the 1950s and 60s, bro. Women are attracted to, to, to these kind of guys that will, that will put them in their place. Cold, hard pill to swallow, but this is the fact, fellas. 
So you put your life on the line and your freedom on the line to defend this to defend this chick who's arguing with this guy he chose is just dumb. Let her deal with the consequences of her actions, bro. Because I'm gonna tell you this. Let's say you let's say you big and bad and bald, right? You hop out. Hey man, don't disrespect her like that. Man, what the fuck you say? Boom, you knock him out, right? He hits his head on the ground, splits his skull open. Now you get manslaughter. Second degree, a uh, second degree murder of manslaughter, right? You're gonna get any from anywhere. It depends on what state, but you're gonna get anywhere from like seven on the low end to like twelve to fifteen on the higher end. So you're gonna do seven to fifteen years because you defended this stranger that you didn't know, that's not under your provisioning, who's not under your tutelage, who doesn't belong to you, quote unquote. Oh yes, ladies, and, and, and if you're married, if you're somebody's wife, yeah, you belong to him. I know y'all hate to hear that. I mean, you on this weird old feminist shit where you want to be a feminist one day and a wife. No, no, no. You belong to if 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 if, if you belong to that man. Yes, it, he's it's his responsibility to defend you. But fellas, she don't belong to you. That's not your friend, your home girl. That's really close to you, your cousin. Or hey, let her do her thing. Let her argue. Hey, 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 man. Who knows? That might be her pimp. She might be the three hundred four. That might be her pimp. Maybe she didn't. Maybe she didn't pay pimping all time. Maybe she fucked for free. Maybe she fucked without a condom. I don't know. You don't know either. So why put your life and your freedom online to defend this broad in public who you don't know? You feel me? And you definitely don't know this dude and what he's capable of. You know what I mean? So, because, fellas, that happens a lot. So, now picture this, y'all. Again, I've been there. I did two years. I was on a three yard. I had no business being on a three yard, but just because I caught a violent uh, case my first time, they sent me to a three yard. Now you're going to a three yard. Because you have a violent case, you're going to be around killers, murderers, triple lifers, double lifers, people who won't, won't hesitate to slit your throat if you got a pocket. Now you got to go do time for seven years on the minimum, 12, 15 at the maximum, all because you're a man and, and, and you was protecting a woman, a stranger. I want y'all to digest this. Because this is what's going to happen, fellas. You're going to go sit down in prison on a three yard until you work your way down to five years and below. And if you're good, if you're good in prison, then you'll go to a two and then it's a little bit more lag. But you're putting yourself in a, in, in a jungle, a real jungle with killers who will slit your throat if the situation calls for it for seven years, seven to 12 years, all because uh, you all because you defended a stranger because you're a man, that's what men do. No, yes, you're a man, you're not a sacrificial lamb. Don't put yourself in those situations, bro. Because what's gonna happen is you're gonna be sitting down eating noodles and tunas, you know what I mean, and all this crappy state food, bologna sandwiches and all that, while she's gonna be still with that same dude, sucking him off, swallowing his nut, having his babies, or maybe if she broke it off with that dude, now she moved on to another dude and go get him some brains, some top, while you in while you in the joint watching Love Island, fantasizing about getting some top like I was. And that's just real spill. That's real talk from your boy Inky, man. Don't defend no bitch that you, or excuse me, try not to curve. Don't defend no chick, no, especially no out-of-pocket rude chick who doesn't, who doesn't respect men, right? And put your freedom and your health and, and, and your money on the line. Because you don't need a lawyer. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you beat that dude up or you shoot that guy defending defend that chick, Regardless of it, uh, of it's your, uh, your family, your wife, or not, you're going to need a lawyer. That's going to, like I said, 20, 30 bins. Uh, you're going to need bail money, opportunity costs. You're gonna, you could lose your job, your career, and you're going to lose time. All because you, you was a man protecting you. Right? Now, like I said, if it's your wife, yeah, cool. I'm just, fuck it. I'll, put, I'll lay my life on the line for, for my family. But a stranger, nah. Don't be a sacrificial lamb. You know what I mean? You're not you're not just a, a, a guard dog. Alright? In closing, let me say this. I'm not trying to drag this video out too long. And it, it, I don't like saying stuff like this, fellas. Because I'm in these red pill spaces, right? And it goes both ways, right? Men can be extreme too. I see men say, yeah, I'll never do it with a woman ever again. I'll just get a puppy or a dog and have my hobbies. Uh, uh, I'll never even look a woman's uh, way. Or I'll, I'll, yeah, when I'm in the gym, if I see a girl, I just 
Hair on straight, never. Like, bro, stop the cab, bro. You're going to look at her fat ass in the gym. If you're on the streets and you see an attractive woman, you're going to look. And if you want to go talk to her, go talk to her. It's okay. If you get it rejected, most of the time you are going to get rejected. That's fine. This is what happens when you are a man dating in 2023. All right? So men can be extreme when it comes to that shit, too. I call that shit out, too. It's cap. You want a woman in your life. Stop fucking lying. It's just that most women are not wifeable, they're not dateable, and they're, they're really masculine, they all this feminist bullshit. So I get it. It's hard to find a girl, I get it. But for you to cap, like, you know, that's just cap. But women are the same shit to where they, they're like, oh, yeah, I'm strong, I'm independent, I don't need no men. They really do not respect the average man, all right? Money is hard to make it right now, all right? So the average guy, you're only going to be making more times than not if you don't have any skills, no education, you know what I mean? 35, 40, 45 grand, right? It's not only until you maybe get that master's degree that's going to put you uh, at a PhD or, or, or a, um, excuse me. There's certain levels that you need to have certain degrees to put you at. You know, whether you're a lawyer, uh, a, you know, a doctor, surgeon, uh, you know what I mean? Even what I do, I'm not going to say what I do, but, you know, certain state, um, fields in the real estate, you, you know, you need a degree. That's when you're going to creep up in the ranks and get money. But the average guy... You know, be making forty-five minutes. Uh, women, they, they, they don't respect you, bro. They don't respect you because why? You're not able to provide them with a lifestyle that they want. All right, you're not giving them the multi-million. It's really a <laughs> see. My, women don't know how money works. The lifestyle they really want is like really a multi-million-dollar lifestyle. But they just say hundred thousand because they're consumers, spenders. They don't really save money. So they don't really know how money works and how money is accumulated. You know what I mean? But just realize that the average woman out there that you see on the streets is not going to respect you. Um, now, if, if she finds you physically attractive, then you got your foot in the door to maybe she can respect you, you know what I'm saying, even if you broke, you know what I mean, if you got a mouthpiece about yourself and charisma, but that's that's a deeper level. I'm just saying on the surface level, most women don't respect you. Most women don't respect most men. Uh, so she wouldn't piss on you if you was on fire, Right? So, does she really deserve your protection if you don't know her and you don't even know the situation that she's in outside? Sorry to say this, fellas, the answer is no. The answer is no. Like I said, go ahead and try, go ahead and find out if you want to before you get, get bodied by, by that guy or you, go to, you get arrested because you assaulted a dude and come to find out that's her boyfriend, they was just having an argument. And she didn't even want you to punch on him. She just wanted to get a rise out of him to test him. Women do that stuff all the time, fellas. This is why it's important to, to, to have game. Learn the game. Learn how women operate. Learn who they choose, why they choose. They like dark triad traits. They like when certain men go outside their head. It turns them on a lot of times. It's sad, like I said, it doesn't, I, it doesn't make me feel good saying this, fellas. I wish women were the same way they were, you know, back before the feminist stuff because I'll tell you one thing, if women were all soft, dainty, and, and, and really polite and all the time and just, you know, they wouldn't be going, people, <laughs> men wouldn't just be going inside the head for no reason. But we live in a day and age now where, you know, society is blundering gender lines, uh, they're, they're trying to make men women and vice versa. Women think that they can do what a man can do when they can't. They're delusional just because they may be making a little bit of money. They think they're better than a man. Newsflash, sweetheart, I don't give a fuck how much money you make. I don't give a fuck if you make $500,000 a year and your boyfriend is making $50,000 a year. He's still the man of the house in that motherfucker. I don't give a fuck what nobody say about that. You know what I mean? Uh, you can cry. You, you can say about how much you don't need men and how men don't provide and all this, protect and all this shit right here, right? Until you need one. Until you need one, even if you got a gun and you point at a man, I guarantee you can take it from you. So, uh, so yeah, fellas, I just want to uh, let y'all know, man, uh, should you protect women? Yes. Sh should you protect j strangers? Generally, hell no. Uh, and if you do, be prepared to, I hope you have some lawyer money. Yeah, I hope you got 20K lawyer money, 30K. I hope you're ready to sit down in county jail if you don't got bail. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, hey man, people do time to defend themselves. <laughs> people do time to defend themselves, man. 
So you gonna defend a woman who don't even respect men and don't belong to you, bro? That's just stupid. That's stupid. It's not smart. And you need to uh, think about yourself and put yourself first in your future, man. Because I tell you what, sitting down in prison is no fun. You defend this chick on the streets from uh, 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 the stranger that didn't even know you. Meanwhile, she's giving a dual head on the streets, not putting no money on your books. But you jumped out your body trying to protect, uh, protect this chick. Now you're on the three yard, right? Doing seven years. And now there's racial tension on the three yard, right? Now a riot pops off. Now you gotta stab somebody, or you get stabbed, put your life in danger. Now you get caught on camera stabbing somebody in the right because you had to protect, because you had to jump, you had to do what you had to do. Now your seven years turns into 10 to 15. 10, let's say, okay, you stab an inmate, assault an inmate, you get like maybe another three years. So now that seven turns into three, and now your points go up. Now you're going to a four yard. Why? Because you protected this out of pocket, man hating, feminist, misandrist chick. Who don't give a fuck about you and don't look at you as a man, all because you're not a multi million dollar man and you're not white. If you're a black man, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these black chicks do not like you, dude. I'm telling you, they on this new shit where they, they want white dudes because they feel like they feel like the white dudes are so much better than, than, than you as a black man, uh, all because that they, they conquered the, the goal, but. That's all another conversation for another day, man. But uh, but yeah, fellas, don't be crash dummies. I'm gonna leave it at that, man. But hey, this one you can the brain, man. Y'all hit the like button if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna catch on the next one, man. Y'all be smooth and be solid.